Hello, Lou's Uncle Jim, and this is the story of the gun cabinet disaster. So my son bought this school locker for $10, and you can see the sticker right there. Anyway, I had to take the stickers off, so I used a heat gun, came off real easy. And then I decided to go the extra mile and wet sand it, which turned out to not be needed whatsoever. Just wait till you see the spray can I used. So I wet sanded it. It had school kids stuff all over there. These are 3M sanding pads my son found for 25 cents each in all grits. I'm using a 320 and just giving it a quick scuff. And then there's ink markings and everywhere. Uh, so I had to wipe that down with acetones. Kids write everything. Anyway, we thought this would be a cheap, easy. So here is a Rust-Oleum Turbo Can. I've seen guys try to paint cars with this. It's got a 10-inch fan, and it puts out right now, but it is not for doing a car. If you want a splatter finish like on a safe, there you go. I still have overspray on my feet and legs because I was wearing shorts. There's a difference in the size, it puts out four times faster, and it has a 10 inch fan. But you gotta be very careful. A light dusting on the first coat and then a final coat and walk away, and it's gonna splatter. There's no saving this, it's not laying down. Uh, that's, it's the first time I used one of those cans and unless you wanna just blast out something and not care, there you go. So this is what we got. So I paint this thing, I got it in the hot sun. I go in, take a nap or do something else and it falls over in the wind and just totally gets all banged up. So we made lemons out of lemonade and I put it in the walk-in closet to free up some space for me. And it turned out okay in there. And that'll free up some guns you don't use much and just storage. Okay, so this is what he ended up with. It's a gun cabinet, but it's fully chalked with features. I mean, a ton of features. I've never seen this many features on a gun cabinet. It's cheaper than a stack on gun cabinet, and it was a little bigger. So uh, let's start off with the combo here. You get lots of options. One is you got your keyboard. But you also have your thumbprint. Son of a bitch! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Super quick. And then, in case you have an EMT, you have a... EMP. EMP. EMT, what is EMT? Never mind. In case you have an EMP, you have a key that can uh, open it up without any electrical interference now. Uh, you got your batteries inside, but they also give you this. In case those die, yeah. In case the batteries are dead or something the front, yeah. something is wrong, it's just a plug-in, just like your devices. And it will charge that enough to open it. So you plug this in, and it'll open that. So it's got backup after backup. Now another thing it's got... And this is for if company comes over, you got kids running around, they're trying to get into your guns or whatever when you're not looking, having dinner, whatever. It also has an alarm. So if you screw with this, the alarm's going to go off and it's loud. And also, if you uh, like move it around, it, the alarm will go off. So you'll know something's going on. All right, so let's take a look inside. You put some uh, LED click-ons in here. So it also came with these. And it came with these two little side shelves here. All right, and that's to get moisture. And he's probably gonna 3D print some stuff for the pistols. And I think he's gonna redo this and put them on the side. Whatever. There'll be some rearranging. It's got these grill things. It's so full of features, and it was like, what, 160 bucks? Yeah, it was 160 You can't beat that compared to a stack on. 
It also has bolts. Okay, so you got a bolt up here. You got two up here and you got one at the bottom. How good is that compared to a stack on? You're gonna have to close it, boy. I don't have the thumbprint. <laughs> but how fast is that? That is, I like that. I like that a lot. So even if stuff gets gagged up, you got your backup thing to power it up to open it, or you have your key. And if any of your buddies are interested, that's the light I used. You can buy it at Walmart. Yeah, he just grabbed that at Walmart. They it's got seem, magnets. Yeah, they're little clickies. It seems to work fine. All right, so here's the weird thing. He has it delivered. It's cheaper than a stack on. It's worth every bit of 160 bucks. It's tinny on the sides, just like safes are, and it's thicker on the front. When he had it delivered, we were like, what the hell? It came in a slim box. It needs assembly. You have to bolt it together. And so this whole face is one piece that comes around. That's the thickest part. They always do that on safes to make them look tough. You can get into any safe. Uh, I don't care what safe it is. If it's under 5,000 bucks, we're in it in a minute. Anyway, and we're like, what the hell? A flat box delivered? And you had to put it together. And the weird thing is, you put the sides together without squaring it up. And then you put the door on. And then you put the top and bottom in and the rest. Really weird. So, uh... It wasn't too bad, though. It wasn't too bad. I had to help him hold things so things didn't bend while you're trying to put this big square thing together without squaring it up. He put these feet on it at the bottom. It won't come with that. Actually, there's a piece of plywood here. There's reinforcements at the bottom, so it's not so wobbly. But uh, we just took a scrap piece of plywood and I spray painted the edges real quick. And then he put these feet on here, which are really nice. And it keeps it off the base. So it's flush against the wall. And I'm kind of impressed. At first, when we're putting it together, I'm like, what kind of crap is this? But all the hardware was there. Everything went together easy. A little Milwaukee uh, cordless, boom, bang, pow. Now here's the funny thing, it came with these little tiny, let me use my left hand, let's focus. It came with these little tiny baby gloves for assembly, <laughs> Tin Man gloves. Look at how small these are, these are for like a child, for Tin Man's hands. I'm just joking, Tin Man doesn't have baby hands, even though we joke about it all the time. So I put a little carpet. They do have liner, but he it just... came with one little liner. In yeah. It's like fabric. Yeah, it's just goofy fabric. So we just use the carpet squares for the cats whenever they get a critter in the stairway to heaven. And I will say it looks really good. I, I was surprised. I love the features. Boom. Easy to get in. Or you can keep at it. Or you can do it with the key if everything goes bad. So, we went from disaster to, hey, this ain't so bad. He already has a safe I gave him. It's a combo. And we are just running out of room. So, what I did was uh, the school locker that we painted and destroyed, it just got destroyed in the wind. I put that in a walk-in closet to free up some more room with some you know, not after I straightened it out. Yeah, he, my son had to pound it all out and square it up again after it took a dive. And I put that in a walk-in closet just to free room with the bulky guns you don't use that much. Just, you know, now we got plenty of space because between the one I destroyed in the wind and this one, now we got all the room we need so far. <laughs> And there you go. So uh, that's a little story there. He's got his 3D printer here. We got I Dream a Genie here. 
That's a real I Dream of Genie. And they painted those. You've seen the video. Here's the little internet pods. He 3D printed a holder for that. And those work awesome. So from disaster to it's all right. So there you go. There's my little spiel on here. Never seen all these features before on a cheap safe. Around 160 bucks. What are you going to do? So there you go. But you will have to assemble it. And it's a pain in the butt because it's all flat pieces. You got to put together and have someone hold it. Until next time. Thanks for watching.